Hi everybody, this is Fully Off and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play episode on the Just Vanilla server. Right, I'm just back from helping Shroom Kid out with his villager breeder and, uh, and I decided to come and have a look at my skelly farm because I, I, the last time I was here, I, I, there weren't a lot of skellies spawning and, uh, and there was clearly a problem and I didn't know what it was. So I've popped back to have a look and what's happened is I use a series of minecarts in the centre to crush them with, they uh, they die of uh, of cramming, uh, and I've got twenty, I don't know, twenty three, twenty four minecarts in there, and it would appear that they've glitched into that block next to it. So there was only I don't know four or five in there, and the rest were glitched into that block. So the skellies were falling out of the uh, the uh, that thing spawner, uh, falling into the hole, and then just sitting there. And because they were still inside the radius of the spawner, no more were spawning, so so clearly it was broken. Uh, so I have to do something about it. And what, I've, what I'm going to do... I want that. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it up slightly. I, uh, I want to turn it into a bit of an XP farm, but I also want to turn it into a record factory. Now, everybody loves getting CDs, don't they, or discs, or whatever they're called on this game. I think they're called... Uh, di are they discs? They're discs, aren't they? So I'm going to try and turn it into a disc factory. And what that entails is having the skellies fall down there and get carted away in some water. Up the top, I don't know, 20 blocks or so. They're going to fall down into here. So they're going to be nearly dead anyway. Uh, but I'm also going to have a creeper farm thing. I'm dead technical today. Creeper farm thing up there. And I'm I'm toying with the idea of using cats. I'm toying with the idea of, of just using trapdoors and letting them spawn and using water. I don't know yet. I'll have a think about it. I think it's probably going to be cats. Uh, and so the, the skellies fall down into there. The creepers fall down into there. Muggins here stands here looking at the skelly over there. The skelly sees me, goes mental, starts firing arrows. Fortunately for me, the creepers are stood in the way. The creepers are going to be stood there. Uh, so it's going to shoot the creepers. Uh, as soon as the creepers have gone, I'm going to move out of the way. And then all that's going to be left is a load of discs. I'm probably going to funnel them off somewhere else. Um, and so it's going to be a disc farm. It's going to look pretty cool. I'm going to decorate it up a little bit. So I'll get started on getting the shoot prepared and everything and whatever. Well, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Uh, so I'll crack on and do a bit of that and then I'll show you how far I've got in a minute. Okay, well, I've got most of the gear I need, I think, apart from these flea-ridden little fellas. Oh, what are you doing? Sit on the chest, man. Are you going to sit on it as well? Unbelievable. You guys are unbelievable. Well, if you can be bothered to follow me, I'll be over there. And if you can't, well, then don't bother. I'll come and get you later with a lead. Embarrass you in front of your friends. Because you can't do what you're told. Okay, so I've got to, uh, I've got my three bays put in. So we're going to have the bay for me. We're going to have the bay for the creepers, and that's got a uh, it's got a hopper underneath there, like that. And that leads to a chest which is here, so I can just sort of look in and, and grab the uh, grab the records, the discs, and and whatever they what else they drop the gunpowder. And this is going to be where the skellies fall down. They're going to fall down there onto here. And then obviously they can look down that way and see me down at the end, fire at me, but the uh, creepers are going to be in the middle. Now, if I just want to use it as an XP farm, I can come up here and go down into here. I'm going to purdy this up a little bit and then I can just stand here and whack them. And then they'll drop their bones and everything else and their XP down here for me. And I'm going to be within the range of the spawner, so the spawner is going to keep working. So now I just need to. I've dug, the the hole's already dug uh, for. That's a little bit too deep, isn't it? The hole's already dug for these guys. I'm going to keep the same hole, uh, and I'll just funnel it off that way and across that way, and then I need to go up to Y 
30 something. We're currently on uh, y equals 16. So if I take it up to 26, I know it can go a little bit higher, but if I take it up to 26, that's going to be more than enough. Uh, to get me at the top and also what's going to happen if I've got a few skellies in there and they're trying to shoot at me they're going to shoot each other so they'll finish up killing each other anyway uh, so uh, they don't have to be within one hit uh, I've got a decent sword with looting on it I don't need them to be down to one hit so I'm going to go up there dig a bit of uh, dig a few tunnels also I can finally 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 use use my ice I've been saving my ice up forever. There it is. Ice. Oh, and I've put jump two on my beacon over there. You can't beat a bit of jump two when you're building. It's fantastic. So uh, anyway, I'm messing about. I'll dig a hole up there. I'll d there'll be a water chute going up, a water elevator for the skellies. They'll go along the top and they will fall down into here. We'll have a look at it when I've done it. Okay, so I've dug my, my channel that goes up and along and down, and I've got to put some water in it now. This is why I love working with... This is why I love working with the uh, jump two. Because it means I can stick my signs down. I'm using ice as well. I love using ice when I'm making uh, elevators. It's just easier to carry around with you. Normally, if I didn't have jump two, I wouldn't be able to get up here. But because I have got jump two, I can. Eleven. Yeah, better put one in there. Brilliant. Stick that there. Bit of light, although we don't need it. Eight. Oh, such a, such a shame. Or should I just lower it down one and let him? Yeah, I'll lower it down one. Why not? Why not? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sign there. Look at how close I was. Right to the end. Perfect. Block that off. I could, I'm going to block this off, but I don't really need to. I suppose I should, but I can't be bothered. So I just light it up a little bit. Right, so now I need to go back and break all of this ice. All of this water. So the skellies are going to fall down here. They're going to go along here. And they're going to come up here. Going to go along here. I'm going to... I've done this wrong, haven't I? Yeah, you'd, you've all seen it. I know you've all seen it. Because you're cleverer than I am. That's the kitty. Come down here. Put these up here so they can't jump up and down too much. 
Get to the end. Whee! In they go. Fantastic. So that's that one done. That was easy. That's the easy bit. I suppose I ought to put the front on. Let me put the I'll put the glass on there. Let me grab some glass. Stick a bit of glass there, and now there's no reason why I can't turn it on. And see if they can see me. So uh, let's get in there and get rid of these blocks. This is where I get shot. No doubt. Again, this is the beauty of using ice. Providing this works out okay. Everybody's going to be happy. Grab a bit of ice. Ah, son of a. Son of a gun. <laughs> you know I'm here, don't you, fella? Right, <laughs> just need that ice to melt. Now, you can see me, can't you? How can you see me through that glass? Man, there's enough lava in there to, I don't know, to melt something. A couple of torches next to it. Interesting. Okay, they've all gone into there, but none of them have made it. So we have a mystery on our hands. stuck there why are they all stuck there well it's a good job we spotted it I guess there we go <laughs> they're already fighting each other <laughs> Gonna be a hell of a mess down there, I'll tell you for nothing. So I wanted to see how many have been killed. <laughs> they were having a proper proper little go at each other in there, aren't you? The old rubbish shots, aren't you, if you can't shoot each other? Anyway, hopefully then, if I go here, can you see me? Oh yeah, you can see me. Perfect. Perfect, mate. Look at you with all the arrows stuck in you. So now if I go down here... Give you a whack. Look at all those arrows. They were having a proper go at each other. Yeah, everything's in the chest. Very good. So that that bit works. Now I need to do something similar. But I need to dig a hole. Whoa! Don't want to be standing there, do I? I forgot all about you. Here we. You can see me, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can. That's good. Good-o. 
Uh, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll take some measurements. I'll dig up there a little bit. This doesn't have to, they don't have to fall a massive amount. They don't have to fall a long way, really. I mean, the further they fall, the easier it's going to be for those guys to kill them. Um, so I suppose I'll have to make it a half-decent drop. And then I've got a load of digging to do. So I'm going to dig out a big room at the top and then decide whether or not we're going to use cats or just use water and a timer. Okay, so I've got the room dug and I have got the cats up there. That was a that was a pain. Oh man, they were hard work. Have you ever tried herding cats? It is impossible. Oh, I can't get out of here. <laughs> Excellent. Right, so now what I need to do is I need to protect these guys a little bit because I don't want them getting off the chests. The chests are good. They'll sit on the chest. Even when I'm injured, they, they won't move off the chest. Uh, so I need to protect them a little bit. So I'm going to stick that there and I'm going to put another... Can you move back a little bit, fella? Maybe? Right, so now the said creepers can't spawn and push you off the, can't push you off. And now I need to be able to block all the spiders as well. So one, two, they need an area of three by three to spawn in. One, two, three. Yeah. Is that all the three by three space? Oh, of course it's not. There's one there. <laughs> There's going to be a proper technical way of doing this, isn't there? But I don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lob down a few. <laughs> just gonna lob down some carpet. Obviously, the more carpet I put down, the less spawning spaces there are, which is a problem. Can I do it with less than that? Less carpet than that? Yeah, that'll that'll have to do. Yeah, that'll have to do. Right over this side. That ginger cat, ginger Tom there, you were really hard work, you were. Yes, you. Right, hopefully that's that's that. So I need to stick some I need to block this off to start with. Just so the water doesn't go flooding down there. They're going to come down here. I don't mind them jumping up a little bit here either because if they haven't got a very long way down to fall. Oh, come on, get up. There you go. But I am concerned the minute I turn these lights off, things are going to start spawning. I don't know also, I don't know whether that trap door there is classed as a solid spawnable block it depends on the orientation of it so we might get sport spiders spawning up here because of that we'll see we'll see how it goes if i've got to come up and change it i'll have to come up and change it all right so we need that there then i need to get get out of dodge pretty pretty quick don't i once so uh, once all this is sorted out now they shouldn't spawn with me up here and I say shouldn't because I'm within 20 odd blocks of them however it's not to say they will uh, they won't all things being equal if I get 24 blocks away i.e. down here yeah, I've got glass over the front of it as well I'm going to sit here for a little bit and hopefully we'll get a creeper. 
So sit back, grab your snacks, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've been AFK now for, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, and I've come back, and we've got some bad boys in there. Look at that. So we've got some skellies. We've got some creepers. This can only end... Well, I was going to say it can only end one way, but... Just those idiots at the other end to be shooting each other first. This is nerve-wracking. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know whether he was blowing up or dying then. That frightened me to death. What we got in here, anyway? Oh, we already got a record. Look at that. Style. Fabulous. Oh, that was better than I thought. Still terrified that something was going to happen. But what have we got in here? What have we got? <laughs> Cat 13 Mel Melohi. Melohi. Stal and Melohi. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm very pleased with that. In fairness, it's never going to be... And I've probably said this about every farm I've ever made. It's never going to be the most productive record factory there is. However, a record factory nevertheless. So I'm chuffed. Chuffed to pieces. So uh, I've got a bit of work to do now. I need to whip all of this out. I need to put in some kind of jukebox. Uh, and make it look all, all purity and everything. But so far... We have ourselves a working disc factory. Hello, mate. So I guess I'll, uh, I'll AFK here. Probably AFK overnight. Uh, and, uh, and we'll see what we've got. What I'd like to do, what I think I probably will do, is if I get myself a pressure plate in there, so that when a uh, creeper is on the pressure plate... It can withdraw a, 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 a it'll withdraw a block that's here uh, to allow the skelly that guy to see me. Uh, so he'll keep firing as soon as he, oh as soon as he's shot the last creeper that's in there. There's going to be nothing on the pressure plate and the the block will um, retract back into place again and they won't be able to see me. Uh, and that way I can AFK actually in there. So I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'm, I might do that with nothing on, just in case it all goes pear shaped, and I do die. But it's, a, it's a plan, and I think it's going to work. However, for the time being, we have ourselves four discs. Yeah, got ourselves four discs, and, uh, <laughs> and I was, I'm happy as Larry. As they say, whoever Larry was, and I'm sure he was very happy. But I am happy as Larry. Right, off to do some digging. Okay, so I've done my bit of digging, and I've, uh, I've purded it up a little bit, and this is what I've come up with. So we've got the, uh, as you know, we've got the, hello fella. We've got the skellies and the creepers on one side, and where I'm going to stand. And we've got uh, a bit of a storage area and jukebox kind of setup on the other side. And I tell you what. I am suitably impressed with this thing. I didn't think it would be as productive as it has been, if I'm being honest. I've been AFK around here now for less than... Well, I was AFK here overnight, uh, and I got about, I don't know, about a dozen of them overnight. Uh, and uh, and I've been AFK this morning a little bit, and I've got most of them. How many different... There are 12 different discs you can get, and I've got one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now they all cat. Oh no, there's four, ten, eleven. Eleven. The only one I'm missing is the one that's 
black and cracked. It's a cracked one, and I, I can't remember what it's called. But it looks like I'm only missing one disc. So if we grab one of each of these, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, eleven. And we stick them all around here. What I want to do, I mean, I, I was thinking of having a chest and having them all in the chest, but I only need one of each disc, don't I, really? So what I was going to do was just stick them around the outside here. Does it tell you what they are? It doesn't tell you what they are. I might stick them on an anvil uh, and get them all labelled up. But you'll have to let me know in the comments which one's your favourite disc. Because I, personally, I don't think I have a, a preference, if I'm being honest. I will stick one on in a minute. While we, uh, while we do... Let's stick him on. I don't know what you are. Very scary, very loud. Right, turn it down a bit. Sounds a bit scary. Just what we need when we have got to skelly shooting at each other. You never know. Maybe. Maybe we'll get the disc that we need off of this guy. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? Finish the episode on the, on the right disc. Are you going to shoot at me or what? Being an idiot, aren't you? He's given us Strad. I think we've we got Strad. Oh, crikey. O'Reilly. We haven't got Strad. Does that mean then that... I can't mean I've got all of them. Maybe that is the broken one. I thought there was a broken one. I'm going to be playing about with discs now. What's this one then? Well, I can't believe that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One in there, twelve. I think we've got all of the discs. Now, is that fantastic or what? Well, I think we'll call it a day then for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. It's been brilliant having you along as usual. If you have enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is fully off. Buy my jukebox and I'm out of here.